Welcome! This is Betty with Oak by Bettina, and this is Texture Thursday. Thank you kindly for being here with me today. Taslima is taking a couple of weeks off, so it's just me for a couple of weeks. Today I'm going to be creating a flower, some daffodils, and my creation is uh, inspired by AB Creatives. Now, AB Creatives does her design on her canvas or her, her substrate with a glue gun, with a hot glue gun, and then she adds a Dutch pour um, painting or consistency paint on top of the full design and she blows it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, I am going to draw out my daffodils. I did try it a couple of times and had to uh, erase them and start over about three times until I finally got it and I was finally happy. Now I won't be using the hot glue. I am going to be using the texture itself. Once the texture is dry, I will mix my colors and that's going to be fun because I haven't mixed colors in a long time. I'm going to have to go back into my information bank and try to figure out um, what the consistency is. If I remember uh, correctly, uh, Canela Soraco's recipe was an 80, 40, 30, I believe, 80 Floetrol, 40... Um, paint and 30 water so I think that's what I'm going to be mixing I'm only going to be using three colors daffodils are yellow so I'm going to put uh, some yellow um, orange and white and um, I hope this is going to work I would love to use texture without any other products it would be a great great thing to do so I'm going to put up the music now guys and I will come in afterwards and uh, talk to you again don't forget as always if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and send me your comments if you have any questions, please put them in the comment area and I will be more than happy to reply. And um, I'm going to put the music up now and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. saying says if you don't use it you lose it I haven't mixed colors in a long time so I couldn't remember what the recipe was I had to go back and try to remember Canela Siraco's 
uh, recipe for Dutch pour. Was it 80, 40, 30, or 80, 40, 20? Anyway, I took out my Floetrol, my 90% water and 10% GAC 800, and my colors, Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Yellow, and Amsterdam Azel Orange. I mix my colors and I think they are going to be okay, but we will soon find out. Now it was time for resin. The resin will be going on the actual flower, the daffodils, and I was happy with the colors that I used, except I wish I had darkened up the orange a little bit more and used less white. Nevertheless, this is the first time I do this process and I really liked it, but I need to concentrate more on the colors that I will be using. So for this um, resin, I added a little bit of yellow into it, but small enough to keep it transparent. I didn't know if it was going to make a big difference, but I did want to make the flower a little bit more yellow and um, make it pop a little more. So that's what I'm doing here with a toothpick. I am adding a little bit of the uh, yellow ink by Liquitex and just enough to give it color but keep it transparent. So I will add this um, resin to the flower itself and let it dry. Then I will fix all my edges. I still don't know what color I'll be using if I will use the uh, gold or orange or perhaps yellow. Uh, we'll see at the end. But I hope you've liked this process so far. And uh, as always, guys, thanks again for being here with me today. Be happy, be super kind, be safe. Have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week to start. And I will hopefully see you again next Thursday on Texture Thursday.
Yes, it is a pretty piece, but I was just not happy with those colors. The orange should have been darker. There was too much white, and I was just not happy. So I took out my texture and started adding it on, and I didn't stop till I was happy. Let me know in the comments if I should have stopped or if you like the end result. Thank you guys for being here, and I will see you again next Thursday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.